Apache Spark splits data into partitions and executes computations on the partitions in parallel. Understanding memory partitioning is absolutely critical for Spark programmers, especially collapse and repartition. In this example, we are going to see the difference between the collapse and repartitions. In collapse, existing partitions to minimize it, the amount of data that's shuffled. And collapse result in partition with a different amount of data, sometimes partitions that have much different sizes. But in repartition algorithm does a full shuffle and create new partitions with data that's distributed evenly. Let's create a data frame and we'll see that. First, I just start a pass path. Okay, just started. I'm going to load some data here. I just load some parallelized data with large size. So almost one lakh record, I'm going to store it with 10 partitions. So this is the parent RDD. From parent RDD, we are going to create repartition RDD. I'm going to convert into 20 partitions. Okay, so this is a repartition. I will check it out RDDRP, the count value is everything. Okay, total 20 partition just created. A normal already have 10 partitions only. Now I just going to create a list to completion to print it. And we'll see the output for each collected partition data in separately. I will collect the total length of each partition value because it was producing into the list. So I'm just collecting that. Yeah, each partition data, it's uh, we can see total is 1 million records, uh, sorry, 1 lakh record is available. It's close to evenly distributed right now. The same command I'm going to check with parent RDD, which is have 10 partitions. That is also close to even because at the beginning itself, it will be shuffle the data. Now I'm going to increase the repartition size into 10 okay already 10 it was there so i'll be increasing to 30. so you can see almost all the record will be 3330 records is available so it's evenly distributed so repartition we can conclude for repartition data will be 
evenly distributed and second repartitions data will create from sorry will create as a new partition not from existing we can conclude these two points from repartitions now we will see about colors so we have parent already already so it have 10 partitions of data now i'm going to create a colors partitions uh, i'm going to create with three now i'm going to list out that so you can see two partitions have 30,000 of record another one have 40,000 so almost 10,000 record it's not equally distributed almost both of them is a 30 percent and last one partition data have 40 percent record is available but repartitions we have data properly only minimal changes you can see everything is an equal there is no changes it's evenly distributed in repartition so in colors if you are going to use it data will not be equal so from colors we will be conclude data partitions data not evenly distributed and second point we cannot increase the repartition size that is also we have to see not a repartition size it's a partition size only we can displace it so already have 10 i am trying to increase into 12 let's say example it maximum whatever it is that only we can do it 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 so total only 10 partitions of data is available but we have mentioned as a 12 partitions but we can reduce it via colors if suppose i want to reduce from 12 to 8 that is possible yeah we can reduce it and it, while reducing it, it the data will not be evenly distributed you can you can see that this is a 20000 records and this is only 10000 of record so it's not evenly distributed so from colors we can confirm it partitions data not evenly distributed and we are we unable to increase the partitions only we can reduce the partition so this is the two different major difference while you are using colors and repartition thank you so we will be discussing a new topic in next video